Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Duckville here. We're going to watch a game from the recent This Week in Replay pack from uh, Team Liquid. Of course, uh, it, this one is going to be featuring our sort of uh, signature player up the top here. It is Liquid's hero. He's facing off against a Zerg opponent who he's actually defeated uh, in GSL. Not, uh, not too many people will, uh, will be familiar with uh, with Crazy Moving's exploits in GSL. It was very short, but uh, he's starting down here in the red. He actually went through in the November uh, Code A, I believe it was, and then actually faced off against Hero and unfortunately lost to him. But uh, it was good to see him up there in the GSL. And we'll have to see how he plays here today. It looks as if uh, we're going to have a standard opening from Hero. Just going to go for the Forge Fast Expand. Um, Cloud Kingdom is the map. And, of course, this one is a really good one for PvZ. Of course, you've got uh, a natural expand down here that's very simple to take. You've got a third that can be cannoned a little bit. Uh, you just want to chuck in a cannon just around about here. Um, uh, sorry, a pylon down here, and then you can put a cannon in as well and uh, do all sorts of shenanigans. Then when it comes to the fourth and the, obviously the fifth base, that's where things can get a little bit interesting, but uh, we'll, we'll have to find out how, I'm particularly interested in how Hero wants to play this one out, because of course this one can be seen as a map that you can use muters a little bit. Now the reasoning for that is that if you bounce up with the muters, you can jump down here to the third, do some harassment here, and then get straight back into the main here where the rest of the probes are and uh, really do some damage. So we'll have to find out if uh, if Hero is going to do something to counteract that or if even cr or if Crazy Moving from Infinity 7 is even going to go down that particular route. But we'll have to find out very soon. Now, Crazy Moving has taken his expansion straight away, of course. Got a uh, drone down here, just making sure that there's no pylon shenanigans at the bottom of the ramp. You really don't want to get caught out. Hero has been known to uh, throw down the odd cannon at the natural expand of a Zerg, so I think that's something uh, it, it's good that Crazy is being very careful about that. He's now just uh, trying to keep uh, keep in check with that probe, just trying to nip away at that one as much as he can. Got the spawning pool almost halfway done here, so Crazy Moving is uh, just going to go very standard for from this perspective. We'll have to see how he goes. It looks as if Hero, wow, doing a little bit differently. He's going for a gateway first after the Nexus, so we're going to see him get his, uh, his cyber the Cybernetic score, I should say, uh, is going to be up faster than uh, in a standard game. It also means that his cannon may be slightly delayed, so we'll have to find out if Crazy Moving is going to go and uh, try and abuse that fact. He does have uh, four Zerglings on the way. The two Queens are also being produced at the moment as well. A couple of drones transferring down to the natural expansion, and uh, yeah, things things looking very standard from uh, from Crazy Moving's perspective, but for Hero, we'll have to see. Is he going to get out the, uh, the cannon in time to defend? It looks as if the Forge has just completed now. Cannon goes down. Pylon also goes up. He uses the probe to complete the wall in and the gateway finishes off and now we'll have to see is he going to get the cyber straight away he does need to put a couple of the probes into gas we're going to get the second gas here as well the cannon meanwhile is only halfway done and the uh, the overlord can see this so crazy moving is going to be uh, perhaps able to have a quick look inside the base is he going to be able to get past the probe the probe of course does not actually have too much hp cannon completing now probe attempts to escape not sure if that was the best idea to let the uh just to uh, sacrifice one probe uh, not sacrifice one probe, I should say, but um, Crazy Moving is now inside the main. He's going to be able to get some vision. He's only got two pro, uh, two lings in here, so he's not actually going to be able to get a huge amount of damage done, but he may be able to take a couple of shots at these probes. Has a look at that one there. A couple come down to defend their buddy, and uh, we'll see if he actually does get a kill off here. It looks as if he does lose one. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, the hatchery has been placed down at the third base here for Crazy as well. He's got no gas, of course, because you can't really take that third expand with uh, if you do get gas, because that limits your income per and also how much uh, resource you actually have available at the time of uh, construction of the third. But uh, with the cyber done a little bit quicker, that means that the uh, stalker, which has just popped out, is going to be able to get up here for hero and take down these quick, uh, these 
these links that were here. So we do have two kills. So he's actually, he's, uh, he's almost made it worth his while that he got inside here. And as, uh, he's, he's also been scouting out what's going on. Of course, you can see how much gas has been taken. If he gets down the base uh, into the natural here, he does actually get to see, of course, that the uh, both of the natural gases weren't taken as well. So Hero has uh, essentially been mapped out for this current time here. It's very dependent on how he wants to play from this point forwards. But now with Crazy, he's, he's well aware of what's going on, takes his first and second gas down at the uh, at the main base. The Roach Warren has also just started. He's also going to be able to get uh, that gas income flowing and be able to defend against any possible attacks that come out. So Crazy has uh, also started his creep spread as well. So we'll see him. Needs to link up, of course, this uh, the, the third base and the natural need to get linked as quickly as possible. And then also we'd want to see him get the main linked up to the natural as well. So... Uh, he is still droning up at the moment though. We've got a couple of lings out on the map. We've got six just over here. There are a few uh, just for, just a little bit behind them. They're going to be able to force this Stalker back for the time being. Of course, normally a Stalker should win a battle against a slow ling or three or even more. It doesn't actually matter how many there are, but the ling's actually caught out. Very uncharacteristic mistake there by a Hero to actually let that Stalker die. But uh, he does have a couple of extra gates being finished up here. The Robo is on the way. The uh, Four sentries are going to probably be... No, he's actually going to go for uh, quite a few zealots here. So, looks as if he's just preparing. He may look to try and attack down to the third base of Crazy, but I don't think that's going to be the... Uh, the particular route that he's going to go for. I don't think he just he just doesn't really have the uh, the map presence at the moment, of course. He knows that the natural is there. He doesn't know that the third is there. He does actually have uh, the hallucination just finishing up the research as well. So he will be able to use a couple of uh, fake phoenix to scout around the map and find out what's going on. Actually uses one to find that overlord, which is always going to be here. If you're a Protoss player, you should always know that there's most likely going to be one just there at the start of the game. But... The uh, hallucinated phoenix gets across the map. Is he going to be able to see exactly what's going on? He's just inside the main now, having a quick look. Does see the extra macro hatchery, the roach warren, the queens that are there as well. The lair just now finishing up. He should have been able to see that exact timing for when that lair finished, which uh, really helps him with determining what particular path he's going to go for. And at the moment, he's going to take his third base and um, just sort of hold this one up. Normally, you'd see players sort of expanding with quite a few immortals, uh, like two, sometimes three immortals and a whole bunch of sentries, which is used against a... Um, what is almost a standard sort of roach based play which comes out of the Zerg players quite a lot these days but uh, knowing what he saw he, he of course saw that the lair was only just finishing up there he should be okay for the time being without uh, needing to worry about too many immortals coming out to help defend against roaches so he's gonna get a couple of uh, gonna get one cannon gonna get the gas as well he's behind all of this he's getting a, a, a little bit of his tech going we get the robotics bay a couple of extra gates bringing him up to a total of six We'll also have the plus one to armor just on about to complete as well. So he's going to have a, a nice couple of upgrades here. We're going to be on 101 for Hero. He's going to be looking good when he uh, proceeds down the map. As we can see, he's just having a look at uh, what is going on down at this uh, little uh, watchtower down at the southern side here. Or the, uh, I suppose, the west side there. Uh, Zealot taking down that uh, little ling. And it looks like um, Hero is going to try and get a little bit of pressure going here. If not, at least kill off some of these creep trimmers, and he is going to get that done. As we can see, he's also just going to uh, cruise around, make sure he can see exactly what's going on, and uh, then also use this uh, fake phoenix to find out what's going on inside the main again. And here we go, just floating through. Is he going to see any extra tech? Not just yet. The uh, the spire was actually just out of position. Normally you wouldn't see them over there, but he did not see that. So I think Crazy is preparing. There it is. Yeah, in fact, that's the second spire. My, my mistake. Oh, oh, no, sorry. That is the first one. My bad. But um, anyway, 11, 12 meters are on the way from Crazy moving. So he is going to switch across. Some links getting inside the main. Now into the natural as well not getting too much done there but the immortals and sentries at the main base were able to take care of uh, that little threat that was trying to push through behind this bit of pressure not to mention the muters which have just popped out crazy is going to expand down to the bottom right hand side taking his fourth base over here we'll have to see if he's going to get this fifth as well i, I seriously think he could with a lot of muter pressure not to mention the fact that uh, they can be used 
for uh, just really sort of just pushing around the map and if, <laughs> wow, he was going to take a fifth, but uh, the Zealot says no to that. Going to have to uh, pick another base to take, perhaps this one down here, as we mentioned before, but uh, the Muta's now just floating around. Now, uh, Hero should know that these are out on the map, especially now that he's being attacked by these uh, by the Muta's down here at this uh, potential fourth ba uh, fifth base, I should say. So, Hero, what is he going to do to defend against this? He's got... Uh, he does not have Blink. That's halfway done. He, d he does not have uh, any sort of Storm tech just yet. The Templar Archives is just on the way. That is actually... Uh, I'm assuming that Crazy will want to try and spot when that's coming up. But uh, he's able to... We'll see if Hero is going to be able to defend this. Here come the Mutas. They're going to try and uh, just float through this middle section here. There is no cannon protection. But there are quite a lot of Stalkers. And Crazy getting a little bit caught out there. Just... Uh, being a little bit uh, too gung-ho with his movements through the middle, but the roaches, the lings, uh, still just hanging around the side, just trying to find if there's any weak spots here. The Muta's now sweeping through, then he's natural at the front door, a sentry gets a lucky force field down, but the Colossus, they are going to be in trouble, and in fact, no, the cannons are the first target for, of priority here for Crazy Moving. He's going to have to deal with the uh, Stalkers now, blinking inside the main, losing quite a lot of them there. Not the great, greatest move here from Crazy Moving, now down to the natural, has lost quite a few of those Mutas. He's brought his count down to, uh, it was down to around about 13. He, he's now back up to 20 because he's uh, continued the production of those Mutas. And now Hero's got a couple of temp uh, a couple of Templar out at the moment, which he's going to have Storm available soon. But of course, once their energy is uh, is sort of uh, worked up from that point, so Crazy Moving is just really just sort of uh, he's playing very. I wouldn't say it's passive, but I'd say it's not the most aggressive form of uh, of ZVP. And he's he's uh, just sort of scouting out what's going on. Sees that the Hero is attempting to take his fourth base over here at the side. That is not going to happen. Cancels that. And the Mutas are just going to uh, really just have free reign for the moment until the storm really peaks here. And once these Templar get into the mix and start being able to really rain down terror all over those Mutas. Now, Crazy does have his uh, his fifth base over here. We got the fourth established down in the corner. A nice amount of spine crawlers and a spore crawler to boot. And he's going to be sitting on a total of 88 drones at the moment. But inside the natural, the Mutas now just pushing through. There was an attack over at the fourth base, but here come those Mutas. They're doing a heap of damage. They do have plus one on their weapons, but he is losing them left, right, and center. We are, we were up at something like 30 Mutas here. He's uh, just still just floating them around. Where are the rest of the Mutas? I'm sure there, there will be more. Okay, there are some more just over here because we're up at 24 and I'm looking at this little pack here and I, I was just thinking that's not, that can't be all of them. But he is now trying to get inside. The Ling's just busting through there trying to take down some of those Stalkers but the Stalkers beautifully positioned here by a hero. I don't think this is the best idea from Crazy. Just trying to snipe off what he can. Does get a Templar, gets a cannon, two, three, and then forces a cancel on one of them as well. But the Stalkers have done so much damage here. The, uh, the Muta count for Crazy is down to 22, but he does have 10 more on the way. And it looks as if Hero is going to be able to establish this fourth base here. If he gets that up, of course, as a lot of, I'm sure a lot of, uh, a lot of Zerg and Terran players will know, if the fourth base is up for the Protoss, that means that is, uh, that is going to be, uh, Trouble Town for you. And as we can see here, it looks like uh, Hero is just trying to push around the map. He really needs to clear out some of this creep. Crazy is doing a fantastic job getting around with his creep, as we can see. It gives him good vision. But uh, back inside, the natural expand. The Buda's now sweeping through. Going to be able to find some of these Templar, but he does get a storm down. Loses uh, almost a couple of those, but now Ling's inside the fourth base. There are four cannons here. They're not going to be able to defend against all of these Ling's. They do have 1-1 one, one on their upgrades. And now the Muta's going to come in from the top side as well, but the Stalkers have finally arrived at the battle. Linking through, taking out quite a few of them. They are very red on, on some of those Mutas, but uh, does fend it off for the time being. A couple of roaches that were up here randomly have just been dispatched off. Uh, as well, and as we saw down in that uh, the little PIP, we had an attack at the fifth base of Crazy, and a nice storm there from Hero, taking down quite a few of those Mutalists, and now he's able to push through. Does he have any extra storms available? Yes, he does. He's got a couple up his sleeve, so he can certainly push through here. We'll have to see how Crazy is going to defend against this. He still has quite a lot of creep available. Ling's perhaps looking for a counter attack, and now the Blink Stalker's trying to find where those Mutas are. There they are, getting some good shots on them. Gonna have to force field and get rid of some of these Lings if he wants to push any further. But the uh, Muta count is huge. Look at that. We're up to 31 Mutas. A couple more on the way. They do dispose of some of the cannons, but they have lost quite a few of their number in that attack. 
and now inside the main trying to do some more damage here he's going to try and find some of the tech I would say but uh, that attempted re-expansion to the fifth over here for crazy does not go too well the Colossus and the Immortals and the sentries as well trying to do a bit of damage there but hero is now going to come down with the zealots and just scout into this uh, into the fourth base here he's going to find there's a lot of sto a lot of spine crawlers there he's not going to be able to easily take care of that but uh, while that's going on he does get rid of quite a few of these muters but the sentries have been annihilated by that huge muter count as we can see crazy is trying to retreat as swiftly as he can we'll be able to get out with the majority of these muters and six more are on the way to join their brethren so the upgrades at the moment are very interesting. We've got Crazy just getting his upgrade level 3 on the flyer attacks, and he's going to have that plus 3 for the ground attacks is also on the way. But uh, he's still sort of uh, in, in an interesting position because both players are really getting their upgrades on. And just to the back here, some of the Templar Corn outstorming themselves. Not happy about that. Blink Stalkers trying to get through, trying to take down as many of the Mutas as he can before the Stalkers get taken down or have to retreat by all of these links. And doing a brilliant job of using utilizing the terrain to his advantage probably see him blink down to the southern uh, to the bottom portion no we don't but uh, he did take out quite a lot of those muters. We're down to 16. There are 12 building at the moment for crazy moving. So he's going to be able to really uh, re resupply on those mutilists. He's going to be up to uh, probably 200 supply very soon. He's also taken a fifth base up in the corner, which is very daring from crazy moving. Hero down at 148 supplies. So uh, these guys really uh, sort of matching themselves at the moment. But I just can't help but thinking this fourth base is up. Hero has not actually suffered any tech losses back inside his main during all of these muter attacks. And now with the mothership on the way, we've got uh, plus two, plus three, I should say, to the weapons is just about to complete. And Hero is really just cleaning up some of these bases quite easily. But uh, back at his own fourth base, the Lynx try to find an easy way in, but they're not going to find it. There are cannons and Templar everywhere. And um, down to the bottom right-hand side, as we can see, a whole heap of, ze uh, of zealots are going to try and push into this base. There are a, a little less on the... Uh, spine color count here, but um, he should be okay to defend that for the moment. But meanwhile, crazy moving, busy getting his links inside the main. He is going to be able to take down this cybernetics core. The uh, the base across to the right was also taken out here by Hero, but uh, back inside the main, the cyber going down is a bit of an issue for Hero. He's going to have to get that recreated as soon as possible. The links are disposed of. The attack down at the bottom right hand base for crazy was also uh, disposed of quite easily. And the Mutas still floating around. They've almost got their plus three to the weapons. But Archon, Stalkers, and Templar are now going to be uh, really beefing up the forces of Hero here. And once that Mothership is out, of course, that's going to be when things get quite ugly. And now Crazy's got another attack up at the top left-hand side. Up at this base here, the, uh, the attempted fifth base. I don't think that's going to survive too long. Zealots going to town on the hatchery as fast as they can. Should be able to clean that up pretty quickly. I mean, we've got... We've got 2-2, two, two, so it's not as if he doesn't have too many upgrades here. But the Zealots, are they going to be able to do it just in time? They do take it down. The Muta's now coming in, and uh, it looks as if Crazy is starting to... I I don't want to say falling apart, but he's just not looking uh, in the greatest position right now, especially with all these Archons now starting to morph in. A couple of Pimp Fists there from the Archons trying to take down some of the Mutas, but uh, they're still going to stay alive just for the moment, but not if they walk in range of the Archon again. And now just cleaning up that base. He has done a good job of uh, getting rid of that one. So now the the uh, the, the income for both these players, I was looking for the word, I was going to say Infestors, and uh, you know what? There aren't any on the map at all. Crazy just sticking with this Ling Muta style, and I, I'm not sure if that's the, uh, the greatest idea at this point of the game. But anyway, the income is uh, looking pretty good for Hero, up to 79 probes, 66 drones for crazy of course he spent quite a lot of his drones getting up this big spine crawler wall would love to see him perhaps move that out to uh you know this sort of section here where he can just uh wall off and perhaps segment some of what hero is doing but uh he's busy getting the mutas inside the main they are going to try and kill off some of the buildings here they find the second simon edix core but there is no time to take that down now does have to retreat for the time being and he's going to look for more uh kills if he can interesting to see that the worker kills has been quite low given that uh, that crazy has been investing so much in these mutas but a huge storm on the flock of mutas they are still around they're gonna go to town and take care of a lot of these pros 
do, are getting rid of quite a lot. Five more Mutas on the way, but down at the bottom side of the map, we've got Hero now pushing in. He's segmented some of his forces. We've got the Mothership, a, a few Stalkers, and uh, a couple of other units just hanging around at his fourth base to keep that alive. The Archon, Stalkers, and Templar, however, are now pushing down, and they have taken out this, uh, what would would have been the fifth base, but now Hero has got a big problem on his hands. The, the Mutas and the Lings are now attacking in, but a big Vortex captures quite a lot of those units, I believe, went through there. But the Mothership does go down. We'll have to see what is inside the Vortex in just a moment. What have we got? A lot of Mutas, and they do uh, get absolutely pulverized by the Stalkers, Archons, and Cannons. So, crazy movie, just forced, uh, forced into a position where he's mining off this uh, last remaining base. We saw bases getting destroyed left, right, and center. And uh, it was just unfortunately not able to keep up. The Mutalist tank is just not powerful enough in that late game position when a Protoss, when this, this hero here, this hero is uh, putting his pimp fist up. He's doing 47 splash damage and just cleaning up units all over the place. As we can see, 13 kills on that Archon. So good job there by hero to uh, just sort of, uh, sort of, uh, bide his time and sort of just uh, hold himself up through the the massive waves of mutas that were coming at him and uh, was then able to do a lot of pressure and take down the hatcheries around the map of crazy moving so great job there the liquid hero uh, condolences to infinity 7's crazy moving of course but uh, of course i'm sure we're going to see him quite a lot more he's a very good player and I uh, hope you guys like that one. This is from the uh, Liquid Replay Pack number 37. You can catch that over at Team Liquid Pro. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Cheers.